pawpaw. It's a fruit as old as America, and yet you've probably never heard its name. Alison Aubrey of NPR tells us all about it. So can we find some of them right here? I think there's a couple in the tree still, yes. In the woods of Southeast Ohio, about an hour outside Columbus, there's a whiff of something tropical. There's one. Right up here. Ah, look. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, oh, oh, here they come. <laughs> the American pawpaw is part of what's known as the custard apple family. With its tropical appearance, you may not be surprised to hear that's where its relatives thrive. But this varietal grows wild in over 20 states and as far north as Canada. Going back centuries, the fruit was revered in American life, reportedly enjoyed by George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. More recently, Chris Schmiel dedicated himself to a revival. He started a pawpaw business, Integration Acres, and led the effort to have the pawpaw named the official native fruit of Ohio. Why don't more people know about it? Why isn't everyone eating the pawpaw the way we eat apples? I'd say the number one reason is the short shelf life. The fruit is only in season for about a month each year, typically around September. Mmm. The taste is a creamy blend, part mango, banana, hints of caramel. At the Ohio Pawpaw Festival, held annually in Albany, Ohio, which Schmiel also helped create, so yeah, eat the yellow stuff. He sells his pawpaw salsa. There's pawpaw art and contests. <laughs> pawpaw beer is a big draw, as well as a cook-off. The cream that they put on top is very pawpaw forward. Even really Steve Patterson, the mayor of Athens, the nearby college town, pitches in. This is amazing. So the pawpaw is to Athens what... What air and water is to us as humans. <laughs> <laughs> it's long been a staple for Native Americans. The Iroquois turned the fruit into dried cakes, and the Cherokee used the tree bark to make rope. Horticulturalist Sherry Crabtree of Kentucky State University says the fruit sustained the expedition of Lewis and Clark. They actually recorded in their journal that pawpaws helped save them from starvation. There are new efforts to commercialize the pawpaw, and this research program at Kentucky State University, which houses a pawpaw gene bank, has trees from 17 states. We would like to see a firmer fruit and a longer shelf life, and also, of course, good tasting fruit. Like other fruits, the pawpaw doesn't agree with everyone. For some, it can cause an upset stomach or a rash. We have found that fresh fruit is not likely to bother people that have sensitivities to pawpaw. It seems like the more you cook it, the more likely people are to have a reaction like that. Breeding these pawpaws to be firm enough to ship and to last long enough to sell is challenging. Even if the pawpaw never becomes a staple in your grocery store, is it still a success, what you're doing here? Absolutely. I think that's part of the allure of pawpaw, is it's only available for a very short time when it's in season, and you have to kind of seek it out. If it were as common as an apple, with thousands of people trek here, part of the magic is that it's fleeting. Schmiel's arm tattoo says it all. The pawpaw is a source of pride, and this local abundance is something to nurture, to cherish, even sing about. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your basket. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your basket. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your basket. Way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. <laughs> it's so much fun to sing.